Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections uh, with someone. You have a person in mind and uh, you want to know their current feelings towards you. Okay? If you're single or you're waiting for someone to come by and you want to know who's coming towards you, check out the um, Gypsy Monday Night Starro. Um, it's my reading for all signs that's happening every Monday. And the video is already posted, so you can check that out. For this one, let's see. Their current feelings towards Libra. Let's talk about your person. Libra in love. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. Seven of Wands. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. The King of Wands. Wow, the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Libra, you have three kings. I think you also had four kings last week. Remember? You can check that reading out too. Um, the High Priestess, three of, three of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, Strength, and the Four of Swords. Let me do some clarifications, okay? For Libra, what is this? Queen of Pentacles. Gosh, we have Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Three Kings. What else can we ask for? <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Um, the King of Cups. Now you have four kings. Wow. It's similar re um, similar uh, energy that we get. Check out that other um, reading that I had. I think it's about Libra wins and um, wins big time. Yeah. That was just last week, I believe. There's four kings as well, if I'm not mistaken. You can check that out too. But here, it's just um, confirming yeah, that it's the energy is, is strong for you in that sense. The Fool, the Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Star, and the Eight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, Libra, to start with, um, for you, yeah, this is about their current feelings, but on your side, I feel like you are taking things as it comes, yeah, and making sure that you are enjoying every possible moment, yeah. Even if things are hard, you try to find ways to um, enjoy whatever you're doing, yeah, so that you don't get bored. I feel like you are trying to manage your your happiness here, yeah? At least putting yourself in a situation where there's always a reason to smile, there's always a reason to be happy. Now, focusing on the person that you have in mind right now, Libra, this is a person who wants more from you, more um, investment from you, somehow even more than what you currently have with them. So if you're friends, if you're whatever, or unlabeled type of situation, this is a person who wants more. So perhaps somebody who wants to spend more time with you, um, uh, wants to commit to you, wants to be with you, that sort of thing. And I feel like they, this person knows that you are somehow, that you know how to take care of yourself. Yeah, and probably that's one reason why this person is attracted to you. Yeah, in terms of emotions, feelings, love, yeah, or romance, I do sense that this person has desire 
you know, has some feelings for you, but somehow they are not, um, perhaps this is a person right now who is not at the right position to express how they feel. They can feel it, but they cannot say it out loud. I'm not sure why. It seems like, I, I feel like in the past, uh, this person has been um, putting some energy towards you, uh, hoping that both of you can get to some place, you know, or to get to some point where there's some sense of stability. Yeah, there's some sense of stability. But I do see this person really has um, strong desire to be with you, to, um, you know what, I'm even getting to love you. This is someone who is very much, I, I'm getting that somebody who knows that life with you is is something that um, they want to live with. They want to have, you know, that life with you. So far, I feel the intention is really there. Now, um, the only thing is perhaps you're not really talking. You're not really um, discussing things out. You're probably not expressing or... Uh, I could see that you could be, I don't know, colleagues, <laughs> but that's not, um, that's out of the point. It seems like you could be working together. You could be doing the same thing, you know, or, or in a project together. There is that. But it feels like this person is not very expressive with how they feel. Yeah, It's not very expressive. Um... In front of you, they may show you that they are good, they are okay, but, you know, if you are if you are away from one another, this person has a lot of anxiety, yeah? They worry whether what you think about them, they worry about whether is there still something here, yeah? So I see this is someone who shows up for you. It's just that a person without a tongue, perhaps, who cannot say what they want to tell you for some reason. Yeah. But they want everything. They want all, the entire package with you. Yeah. The, the thing that I see here for you, though, is that you're probably just taking things easy. Like you are, when you see this person, if they show up, you're good. If not, you're good. You know, that, that sense of energy. It seems like... If this person's presence in your life makes you happy at that moment, you take it. Otherwise, you're good. It seems like you are, you're probably off to another, another um, uh, outlet or another sense of enjoyment. You know, you, you go with other friends or put yourself in a situation where you're, you can be happy. Yeah. Now, um... Somehow I'm getting that this person is hoping that you will put more effort into this connection. Perhaps you trying to open up to them how you feel and then getting them to get, you know, to talk. They want that feminine side of you. So regardless of the gender here, this is someone, um, Libra, who is um, wanting that, who wanting to see that you are willing to invest more in this connection with them. Invest in the sense that you show your your eagerness to push this forward wherever this is leading. Yeah. But if you're taking things easy, then perhaps this person can feel that you are taking them casually. Okay. Uh, I'm also getting that this energy of them that they want the whole package with you it is because they can see that there is also a sense that both of you can actually work things out that um your energy your possibly your uh likes your hobbies you have similar interests and this person perhaps now you have that sense of you can work together you don't argue often you don't it seems like things are are going smoothly if we're talking about two people being together this person um 
can sense that, yeah, and they want that too. They want that too. Um, but I feel that you're very independent, and this person is kind of independent too. So you can just be seeing each other, but not really. Um, I don't know. Are you not dating? <laughs> But you have each other somehow. You have each other here. I feel like um, part of this person is not just they are worried about where this is heading, but they're not telling you about it. Um, they don't also know where to go. Somehow I feel a part of this person is feeling lost, whether it is lost in their life or lost in, in terms of they don't know where this this is heading. This person just is feeling lost. Yeah. The only thing that I could see that they are really wanting is to be with you, to, to get everything with you, but they cannot speak it out loud. Yeah. At least at this very moment, this is a person who's not really speaking their truth. But through their action, through their you can sense that through their action they show a bit of you know, they show that interest. But you know what? I am seeing that um, the reason why you are taking things easy is primarily because you want this person to speak their mind. So it it, it seems like you want um, more authenticity or more honesty from this person. You want them to talk. You want them to to tell you exactly what their intentions are. Yeah. And I could see Libra that a part of you is still hoping for this person to come back correct, yeah, or hoping to come back to you, yeah. Uh, partly so, you may not also be doing a lot in terms of getting them back. It is because you're just living it, living it to the universe, yeah, letting things be. You're just letting things be. Um. This person wants that you can continue to, uh, you know, whatever dynamic you have right now that is working. Um, they want that. They want that to continue. They also want that whatever heartbreak that they may have caused you in the past, they want that to be over somehow. But the thing is, they're not even saying that um you know or apologizing or not even telling you what they truly want with you they may want a lot of things in life they may want to do other things in life but they're not exactly telling you what they want even though it is very strong yeah in their desire um but fret not because i see that in the immediate future this person is gonna talk yeah i think that's the missing link here it's a communication that is missing um, in terms of desire, in terms of feelings, in terms of them wanting to be with you. It's there. It's up there. You've got all handled by the kings. So the desire, the interest is there. But I do see the king of swords is coming later part. So the communication, the um, authentic uh, words that you are waiting from them, it's going to come. Yeah, it's being driven by the Knight of Swords here. So you get what you you get the truth that you will want. Yeah, you get it. Um, you get that. And um, you know what? I am seeing that this could truly be a transition from uh, whatever situation you had, like a breakup, or you were trying to reconcile, or whatever. And if things. If things you know you're not getting some clarity about this is a transition to a better face yeah the communication that is needed here and I feel that this is your person who would talk it out yeah they will speak their truth and then this is the time when you have to believe what they have to say because I think they are they are down to their wits end here yeah, this is someone who has been through the dark cycle in their life, and the moment they they express their interest towards you, um, I do feel that you will get to talk about the past that you had, and you know, talk it out, hoping that it will not come back again, whatever past hurt that you may have had, and I do see that that could be a start for 
the new changes that will happen in this dynamic that you have with them. Make sense? That's what I see. In terms of their interest, in their feelings, I do see a lot of goodness here. It's a matter of talking things out, which would come in the later part. In terms of their desires, it's already there. They're wanting to commit, their their feelings towards you, it's already there. They're just not saying it uh, yet. I do feel that this person maybe, I don't know, it could be they are doing or they're trying to work on something. Could be on, their, on themselves, on their own problems. They need to fix that, all this anxiety that's causing them anxiety. They need to fix that out before they can ready for this love or commitment with the Libra. That's what I'm getting. I hope this resonates. Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.